Exophthalmometer is an instrument used for measuring the degree of forward displacement of the eye in exophthalmus. The device allows measurement of the forward distance of the lateral orbital rim to the front of the cornea. Exophthalmometers can also identify anophthalmus, retraction of the eye into the orbit, a sign of blowout fracture or certain neoplasms. Methods There are several types of exophthalmometers, hurdle and Ludi measure the distance of the corneal apex from the level of the lateral orbital rim while Nagel measures the relative difference between each eye. Hurdle exophthalmometer, measurement is taken from the lateral orbital rim to the corneal apex. If a patient presents with an orbital fracture or after lateral orbitotomy, the use of hurdle exophthalmometer may be complicated because the lateral orbital rim serves as a reference point for this instrument. Consideration should be given to the use of the Noggle exophthalmometer in these cases. Noggle exophthalmometer uses fixation points slightly above and below the superior and inferior orbital rims, cheekbones and forehead. Noggle exophthalmometer measures the difference in proptoses between the two eyes rather than absolute measure with the hurdle method. Ludi exophthalmometer fixes on lateral orbital wall and uses a transparent ruler to measure the amount of protrusion. Normal values The normal range is 1221 mm upper normal limit for people of African origin is a little higher, about 2324 mm. A difference greater than 2 mm between the eyes is significant. In children and teenagers mean exophthalmometric measurements increase with age, less than 4 years old. 13.2 mm, 5-8 years old, 14.4 mm, 9-12 years old, 15.2 mm, and 13-17 years old, 16.2 mm. Axial length of the eye affects exophthalmometer reading. Pseudoproptosis may be seen in severe myopia. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.